first of all, when Asaf was introducing himself, just out of college, came here, whatever, with this family that's really successful in, in the trades. But, you know, I don't think he gave himself enough credit. I mean, he, he really had uh, studied small business accounting because he wanted to be an entrepreneur. Some of his colleagues in school went to, you know, some of the big six, you know, accounting firms, but he wanted to go and learn the mechanics of small business growth. It's one of the reasons that I I tried to, um, you know, poach us off. I, it took me two or three years to get him to come and join Linker because uh, I knew that we would grow as, as a firm if we had him uh, and, and again, I stepped down as CEO in order for him to come in and be CEO because I am no good as a CEO. So that's, you know, this is kind of taking my own medicine. So in the case of Lenker, um, you know, what's the title of the episode again? Getting out of your own way. Um, you know, sometimes in, in my case, I, I've been around consulting long enough to, to see, you know, I need to get out of the way of the executive leadership of this business and have somebody who that's what they do, right? So um, I wanted to say that about Asaf because I mean, that that's why I recruited him to come in and be a partner. And, um, but when you look at that large organization, what goes wrong, right? You, you have tremendous success. You get up to be a certain size, you know, quarter billion dollars, half a billion dollars, and then things start to go wrong. Well, one thing that happens is that the people who got the business there aren't there anymore. The people who knew knew why we were doing this in the first place, either they, you know, there's been succession planning and maybe the kids took over or, um, you know, the business has been bought out. And now you've got a bunch of people who their their complete mindset is around, you know, this is what we how we got to perform this quarter. We need to make these cuts, these additions, because I need my numbers to look right for the investors. And they're thinking all about the business. They're thinking all about, you know, yes, it's important to know the numbers, but you can't you can't starve the baby, right? That's never an option. And so a lot of times what it is is that we get invited in by someone in the organization who is hired usually, and they see that vision is lacking. Like the people that we need to re-infuse this business with a sense of identity. We need to, to, to refresh the brand, not just, you know, put out external graphics and words and, you know, okay, here's our new brand. It, it never is that. It always starts with who are we and who do we want to be? Where are we and where are we going? And what is it about us? that makes us a company that people should care about. And that's the kind of, uh, it, it really, it's psychological. It, it's like group therapy. You, you get invited in, and, and a lot of times you get invited in, and the person gets shot down. Nope, not doing it, not interested, and, and we don't get the deal. Every once in a while, I had a meeting like that this morning. Um, one of the most successful businesses in their space, um, over $100 million in revenue, and they picked us to come and bring them to the next uh, generation and into the next version of what the market perceives them as being. And that was a situation where everything lined up. Every person inside cared more about the impact the organization is going to have on the world than they cared about their own position, how much they were going to make that quarter, or what other people thought of them. They were they were like several people in that call were willing to make personal sacrifices for the better good. Every once in a while that happens. And I'm telling you, when you take a company that has a foundation and a legacy and a history that, that has done something remarkable, but it's been a while, it's kind of maybe leveling off or maybe stagnating a little bit, or, or maybe people are getting confused in the marketplace about why we want to, you know, utilize that organization or internally people are having an identity crisis, man, if you can get people lined up around, let's do what's best for all stakeholders, there is so much potential. And that is what Linker does. We seek out situations where everybody is wanting to create an impact. You know, our, our slogan is, we want you to become the undeniable solution in the market in the brand your audience is no trust and love. And, and those, every one of those words is chosen very deliberately. And, and that is exactly our mission. We want, you know, and by the way, you can't do it 
when you know everything is is junk you can't do it if if the product is crap or what you, what you're delivering is crap and the reputation is crap and the the people's values internally are crap you, you just can't do it we we wouldn't do it we you couldn't give us enough money to make up false stories to try to promote some crappy company we would just never do it we we'd all rather die literally and because because you you when we go into an account we give so much of ourselves from internally that it would become toxic. You, you, you're, you're taking, you know, you breathe in, you're breathing in the same room, you're breathing in and out, you're taking in one another's energy and essence. And, and so, you know, to me, you, you, if you're listening to this program and, you know, maybe you're starting out and, and you're wanting to make the smartest decisions. We, we have one client um, that was in the, that is in the tree services business. And they went from, you know, under their first million to several million within a couple of years because of really great, uh, talent, some key differentiators that made them a little unique that the guy who started it had an engineering background. So we really played that up. There's a lot of advantages to working with an engineer, especially big, you know, municipalities and, and big, you know, large land projects, you need somebody who can read plans. Um, when you, when you take someone who's willing to listen and be smart and, and look at the business plan and look at the growth plan and look at the, the branding and really care about it, they can go north really fast. And if you take that same mentality of a person in a department of a larger organization who's willing to spearhead and take the risks and 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 kind of shed the blood to to revitalize maybe it's a family business that's kind of stagnated or or something else there is so much potential there's so much that's possible and that's what we're seeking we're seeking people that are ready for that transformation that's the reason the butterfly is is our symbol because it's all about um, it's not just about transforming, but I, I love the picture of a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. Its wings slowly unfold. Its wings slowly fill with blood and it becomes ready to take flight. And in you know, creating that process of transformation and the incubation period and then letting it kind of emerge and take flight, um, that, that's what we're, we're here to do.